Hey guys, uh, we're doing something different today. So I'm gonna take you along with me on this fun little journey. We are headed to Grand Rapids Pellet Liquidation. Um, they're located just off of Division near uh, 36th Street in Grand Rapids, if you know where that is in Michigan. Um, and we're gonna go get an Amazon Returns pallet. Pretty excited. Um, I've never done an Amazon one before. I've done two other pallets. Um, so I did, starting off, I did a Target returns pallet and ended up really great. I ended up breaking even, plus I still have quite a few items to sell um, that I have just listed on Facebook Marketplace. And then I ended up actually keeping a brand new KitchenAid that retails way over $400. Um, and I've seen people selling them on Facebook for $300, so I know I probably could have made a profit there, but I really wanted to keep it. So pretty happy with that. And then I did a um, Costway palette, and it was just a mini palette and had um, five different boxes on it, four different pieces of furniture, and then a lamp. Uh, so far, I'm pretty satisfied with that one too. I broke even on it. Um, I had only sold, I've actually only sold three of the items, um, but ended up keeping a set of chairs for my husband's office. So could have probably made easy 75 or hundred dollars on those but decided to keep them anyways um, just so that we could use them so pretty satisfied so far gonna try out the Amazon returns palette I've heard great things about them so I thought I'd take you with me and kind of show you what it is and then go through the palette with you guys so you can see just what I got I mean they're all so different and they all have different items in them that it's hard to say that it'll be any one thing each time you go but um kind of wanted to show you what I got and take you along for the journey all right you guys we're just pulling in I am so excited to pick our palette um see what we got right. so here's what we got So that went super fast. We picked our palette. Um, we kind of had to hurry because there was a bunch of people here looking through them. Um, so I wanted to quick grab mine and didn't get a whole huge chance to show you, but you can kind of see behind me their palettes and then they got a high logo going like crazy. Yeah. All right guys, so we made it home. As you can see, the van is packed all the way to the top. And then sides. It is fully packed down. So I'm gonna go ahead out and unload this. And as you can see, I have the loose cardboard from that was around the box. You have to take your trash with you. Um, you can leave the skid, but then the, the cardboard and the plastic that's around the items, you have to take that with you. So that's what's stuffed on top. So we'll get unloaded and then show you what's inside. All right, guys, we did it. It's all here, all behind me. So um, there is one thing in the garage that I did not take inside just because it's heavy and a really big box. Um, and so I peeked inside and it's a bike. I have not researched yet what kind of bike it is. Um, I just know it's a bike. So after this, after I unbox all these things, We'll go outside to the garage and check out what kind of bike it is. And yeah. All right. So, first things first, let's break into them. All right. First one is a seat of some sort. Looks like maybe a motorcycle. I'm not sure. It doesn't have any instructions. Oh, there is a barcode. Retro Cafe Yamaha Suzuki. So yeah, it must be for some sort of go better or cycle or something. Um, let's 
See, next one's easy because we have, see this one. I'll take it out and make sure that it still works. But we have a purse steamer, professional garment steamer. Um, not sure what these retail for. I guess we could look it up real quick. All right, so it looks like this steamer retails for about $100. So I could probably get 60 bucks off of it. Um, I will take it out and make sure that everything's here and that it turns on and everything. Um, but yeah, that's a good one. What's next? Oh, this one behind me, it says right on the box. It is a drive transfer tub bench, lockdown, tool free, back, legs, and arms. Not sure what I'm gonna do with that, but I think they retail for around 50, 60 bucks. So maybe sell it on Marketplace or donate it to a um, retirement home of some sort or something like that. Um, this one rattled, so I was interested. It says Kinder King. So I don't know if it is a children's toy or what. It really sounds like a baby rattle. Looks like it retails for around 70 bucks on Amazon. So should be able to get probably 40. Um, it's all still new right in the bag. Um, that should be a good one. Um, Hose. kind of coils in on itself when it's not filled. Uh, looks pretty nice. Here's on Amazon. Um, currently it is on sale for 40. Um, so yeah, maybe 20 bucks. Maybe a table. Oh yeah, a little side table. And it's all right, so retail on the table is $40, so probably another 20 bucks. All right, I don't know what this one is. Oh, maybe it says three layer bookshelf, but we'll open it up just to make sure that's what it is. Like a nice wood, oh, bookshelf. See the wood in there. So I had to take it out of the box because I could not find it on Amazon. Um, but good news is it looks like all the parts are here, a brand it is or anything like that. So I'll do some more digging, but good news is everything's here. So we should be able to assemble it and sell it. Another mystery Amazon box. Oh, to go with our shower chair, a very fancy cane. Intrigues me. It says engine parts. Nothing about engine parts. All right, a very fancy piece of metal. No idea what to use this for. But it looks nice. Guess I'll do some research. I have no idea. It's pretty heavy. Uh, some shelving, maybe? Like some wood shelving with some wire shelves. Oh! I'm trying to get to the instructions. Okay, so this is the end product. Right there. It's supposed to be a kitchen, well, kitchen microwave oven stand. Four tier metal. Hey, now go hold there. Looks like a rug. Adjustable pet ramp. Oh, fancy. There you go. Very fancy. It's got the, uh, this on the back so you can adjust the height of the ramp. And it looks like it retails for around 120. Didn't know. Um, oh no, it's not missing a piece. Never mind. I just didn't expand it all the way. So there. Kind of. See. Good pet gate, baby gate. Looks like the hardware to attach it to the wall. Still on it, so 
All right, so I looked at the baby gate retails for about 40. Probably listed for around 20 bucks. Let's see something round and silver. It's just a huge metal tube. <laughs> kind of bent on the end. Not sure what to do with this. Vardo car seat covers. Oh. All right. So maybe like driver seats, passenger seats. Oh, maybe there's quite a few. Maybe they all right, so I found the uh, seat covers on Amazon. They tip, they're on Amazon right now for $170. So maybe get 100 bucks, that would be great. Seems like things are kind of adding up here. Got a box, so oh, I can see it. This is a... Drink dispenser. Hopefully nothing is broken. Looks like we got the, that sounded like glass. Got the lid. And the stand. Oh, sure enough, it's broken. All around the edge. So, I'm just gonna set this back in the box and we'll put this one in the trash. Sometimes that happens, unfortunately, but especially with glass things, just a little harsh on them with all the shipping back and forth, so that'll be trash. Not bad though, it's the first trash item that we've gotten so far, um, and that's not really a big retail item, so I'm not really that worried about it. All right, this one has me intrigued. I need to know. It's very heavy, and it says six foot hot pink. That's all I know. It's kind of squishy. Oh, there is a blanket or a cover. I don't know. It's a fleecy material, and. Oh, it's a beanbag chair. Cozy sack beanbags. All in this zipper thing. So I bet if I open this though, it's going to explode. So I'm just gonna peek. Yep, it's all in there. It's still sealed. There's no way if they took this out, they were gonna be able to get it back in. So, okay. So I just found the cozy sack beanbag and it retails for $300. So even if I get half price, that's pretty good. But seeing as how it's still brand new, I'm hoping to get 200, maybe more. We'll see. I'll start adding stuff up and see how much of a profit I can make on everything else. But this one will be a good one. Pretty excited about that. Kidding. It's like a wedge pillow. In case you need to sit up in bed, it's kind of smooshed, but I bet if it was sitting out, maybe the air would get back into the, it feels like memory foam. Um, it's only about 44, 45 bucks. Um, um, yeah, so $43. Not a huge item, but good 20. All right, next one. I can see from the outside, it is a canopy tent. Um, I just looked it up too, and real retail is about 160. Um, so maybe get 100 bucks out of it. That'll be nice. I'm not entirely sure what color it is. So, oh, it says right on here, beige, 10 by 10 foot tent. So that'll be a good one. Easy to sell. Okay, next one. I can also tell what it is by the outside of the box. We'll just open it up to make sure that's what it is. Um, but it says it is a metal garden hose reel box with the hose. So, we'll just open this one up a second. 
Just the garden hose real box retails for two hundred dollars. With the hose, it's two sixty. So I think this one will be good. Okay, right, now we're last few here. Oh, don't know what this is. Sunny feel. Maybe something for outside on the patio. We'll see. print. Got the backpack straps. I want to say these are typically like $60. So that's 27 inch bathroom wall. See the mirror? It doesn't look like it's broken. Let's hope not. All right, so last few items here. We have a um, wood rack. It's supposed to have a cover, and we are also missing some of the screws and things, but it's supposed to look like that. We're also missing some of these cross um, crossbars that go right here. So I'm gonna try and build it. We're probably gonna have to go to Home Depot and get some parts, but at least it's a start. Um, maybe get 20. 20 bucks out of it if we can get it to work. Um, and then this one I opened, or was opened, and so I just peeked in, and it looks like it's some covers uh, for windows. They're just kind of like that little shade that goes over top. Um, and the outside of the box says it's specific to a Honda Accord uh, 2018, 19, and 20. And then the last thing back here is a um, umbrella base. So we'll have to look that one up. I'm guessing the auto uh, window cover is going to have to be an eBay thing. I doubt I'm going to get more than 20 bucks for them, but we'll see. Um, umbrella base, I have no idea. Maybe 30, 40 bucks. Um, and then my husband did assemble the bike and it's pretty much trashed. So maybe get 20 bucks out of the bike. All right, here she is. All right, guys, we're back. It's after dinner time, so took a little break. Uh, I've been posting some of the stuff on Facebook Marketplace. Um, so far, I have people interested in two of the items. Um, you know, sometimes it's slow going, kind of depends on the day. Um, and I did kind of post at a weird time. They say typically to post, like, you know, maybe after kids have gone to bed or that kind of thing, so later in the day. Um, but I totaled up all of my cost, my potential profit, and also total MSRP. So total MSRP for all these items, I have at around $2,056. Um, and I say that because there are a couple items I couldn't find on Amazon, the specific one, and like the wood rack is missing, the cover, and a couple pieces. So I'm gonna have to go to um, like Lowe's or Home Depot and get some screws and hopefully piece together that. Um, and then the bike was pr in pretty rough shape. Um, the wheels aren't rolling super great. Um, and it looks like it's definitely been used quite a lot and not very, like, they were not gentle with it. Um, and then, oh, the umbrella stand um, is missing the screw to hold the base onto the part that the umbrella goes onto. So again, we're gonna have to take a trip to Lowe's, but worth it in the end, because I'll probably still make some money on that. Um, <clears throat> Other than that, I assembled a couple of the things, so if you want to see that real quick. So I assembled the kitchen cabinet thing. I just find that it sells better, and then you know that all the pieces are there. And then I also assembled this three-shelf 
rack. I kind of showed it to you a little bit. I didn't take it out of the box, but totally took it out now. Made sure all of the pieces are there. Everything's in ship shape, so that's all put together as well. Um, other than that, we're just going to hope that everything sells. Okay, so the total MSRP was around $2,050. And I'm hoping right now... I haven't totaled up my potential profit yet, but you know, you usually hope for about half to 60% of that. So maybe anywhere between a thousand or 1500 would be great. Um, maybe 1200, actually not 15. Sorry, it's late math. Um, and then the total cost of the pallet was 500 plus tax, so 530. So hopefully, um, you know, make a little bit of money. There was really nothing on the pallet that I wanted to keep this time. Uh, nothing really that appealed to me or that I needed. So hopefully sell it all or whatever I make off of it.